Hey guys, Notorious here, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 Weapons Guide. Uh, but before the video starts, if you guys enjoy my Fallout 76 content or any content on the channel, please make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. It helps me out, and it helps you guys out, and let you guys know what videos are coming out next. So anyway, let's get into it. So today I'm going to be going over the Combat Knife. And going into a, more of a deep dive into the weapon and just explaining a little bit and talking about the weapon itself. So, alright, so the combat knife is not a very bad weapon. It is one of the few sort of weapons that you get at the beginning of the game now due to new updates. Uh, but back then you used to not start with anything. Um, it's a pretty decent one-handed weapon. I wouldn't advise this uh, for like using it at level 50 unless you don't have like anything else to really use right now. Um, there would there are other better one-handed weapons to use on melee one-handed builds, but uh, it is a pretty decent weapon itself. All right, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start from level one down to 50 for all of you people who are all different kinds of levels and or just starting out alright so the combat knife um, is a one-handed fast weapon so you're going to be striking uh, faster than most other one-handed weapons I'm pretty sure uh, most one-handed weapons only go up to like a medium like strike speed I don't think there's a heavy but don't quote me on that um, from level 1, it only has about 16 damage, and yeah, the weight is the same. So, uh, so there's about 16 damage. Uh, in order to craft it, you need uh, adhesive, rubber, screws, and steel. Uh, you need uh, about 1 adhesive, 2 rubber, 1 screw, and 3 steel for level 1. For a level 5... Uh, which brings us up to 23 damage. You're going to need a uh, two adhesive, two rubber, one screw, and four steel. At a level 10, it brings it up to uh, 10. Or whoa, that, that's incorrect. Uh, so it's about seven. Yeah, okay, so it brings you up to 30 uh, damage. You're only going to need a uh, two adhesive, three rubber, one screw, and five steel. So it seems like it's only going up by one? No, that's incorrect. Alright, by uh, level 20 knife, uh, its base damage is going to be a 38. Excuse me, and you're going to need a 3 adhesive, 6 rubber, 3 screws, and 7 steel. At a level uh, 30 knife, it's going to bring the base damage up to 45 damage. Uh, and then you know, your resources are going to be 5 adhesive, 9 rubber, 5 screws, and 9 steel. A level 40 combat knife brings you up to 52 damage, uh, just flat damage. And then you're going to need 6 adhesive, make sure I'm reading that right, <laughs> 12 rubber, 7 screws, and 12 steel. And then for your max level, level 50. You do, uh, the base damage is about, wow, it's only one shy of 60, that kind of sucks. Uh, about 59 damage, and you're going to need 8 adhesive, 15 rubber, 9 screws, and 14 steel. Now, as you can see, as we've gone up through all the levels, the uh, durability uh, just keeps rising and keep going up. In order to have even more durability on a weapon, there is a perk which I'll show you in a second. I believe it is like weapon arsonist or arsenal where you can repair your weapons up to 200%. So then your weapon breaks a lot slower. And then if you throw on, I think it's makeshift... Makeshift something. I'll show you all in a second. It basically brings your uh, melee weapons breaking, I think, down to 80% or it's like 80% less or something like that. We'll, we'll read it all in a second. But uh, now let's go over its mods. I'm just going to make a level 1 because I don't have a lot of screws on me. And then we can go over exactly what mods this thing has. Okay, so it only has two mods on the combat knife. So... The only way to get the modifications from knowledge that I understand is by scrapping the combat knife. So 
if you don't have any mods on a weapon, just like get as many of that as possible and just keep scrapping. I don't know if there's a certain amount you have to scrap for or if it's completely random, but since I already have max two, I don't need to scrap any and everything's fine. All right, so for the mod slots. So of course, uh, this weapon comes in legendaries between one, uh, two, and three, and it's up to you if you would like to put legendaries on it or find legendaries. It's completely up to you how you want it. Uh, the upgrades, we have the serrated blade, which brings up to, so about two damage from a level one, and if it's a level 50, I'm pretty sure that's 61 damage it'll bring it up to. Um, there it is, makeshift warrior. I was close. Uh, so you need makeshift warrior rank 2 in uh, intelligence in order to craft the serrated blade. Uh, the serrated blade also increases the weight by 0.1. It doesn't affect your speed in any way, and it just gives you guys like some extra damage. Now then there's the stealth blade, where you still need makeshift warrior level 2. And this just improves your stealth damage. It doesn't affect the actual base damage of the weapon itself. So you're you can choose whichever you want. I would go with serrated, but since if I was doing a stealth build, I guess I would throw on stealth blade. So I'm not quite sure exactly how it works. I have had a stealth uh, melee damage build before, and really I went more with damage than kind of stealth upgrades, but I think it just kind of affects like stealth like damage in general. So like for instance if you like have ninja, which is an agility perk, I believe at max it brings it up to either 2.3 or 3.0 melee damage. We can check that all in a second. I don't know all this off the top of my head. I should. Um, but I think that might just like increase that up to maybe like point like two I want to say I'm not entirely sure how it works but that's just from what I would understand uh, alright whoa no 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 alright now I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you exactly what resources you need for these upgrades now if you want to put the serrated blade on your combat knife you need one adhesive one fiberglass and three steel and then for the stealth blade you need one adhesive one aluminum uh, one fiberglass and two oil so pretty easy to get all those resources you guys shouldn't have any problems getting that uh, appearance of course is anything you guys unlocked in the yeah all this stuff is all the stuff that you guys have ever unlocked in the uh, autonomous shop so if you guys have like uh, want to make the knife look really cool just look for that stuff in the autonomous shop and you guys should be able to get it okay so that's it for that now let's go ahead and talk about the perks so we're going to go ahead and start off in strength. Uh, in strength, you're going to need, there it is, gladiator. So there are three different gladiator perks that all do the same thing. There's gladiator, and then I think it's experience gladiator. Where are you, my friend? There you are, experience gladiator, and then master gladiator. All of these perks uh, bring your one-handed melee weapon damage uh, by 10%. If you max out the card, it's 20%. And if you have all three cards on your specials, that brings you up to a total of 60% more damage. I'm not 100% sure exactly how the percentages work in this game. It's very low. I think it's anywhere between 3 to 7 more damage. Um, don't quote me on that, but from when I was doing that build, it didn't seem to really put a lot of damage into my melee weapon itself. But having all three cards is better than having nothing. Uh, another good card in strength, I believe it's called Martial Artist. There it is. So, Martial Artist. Martial Artist, your uh, weapon weight is reduced by... Or your melee weapon weight weight is reduced by 20% and you can swing them 10% faster. Since the knife weighs like one pound, I'm pretty sure at this max it's going to weigh probably half that because it's at about 60%, maybe a little bit less, maybe like 0 0.45. But um, basically when this perk is maxed out, which I highly advise, it'll bring your melee weapons weight down to 60% uh, less and then you can swing them 30% faster 
I do know that it makes a slow weapon become a medium, a medium weapon becomes fast, and then a fast weapon becomes a very fast. So basically you're swinging your life like basically like no one's business. Like you're swinging it through the air like it's nothing. So this is a definite perk I would get if I were you. Um, uh, another one you can have is this one. Um, inserter I believe it's pronounced uh, your melee weapons and unarmed weapons ignore 25 percent of targets armor at max is 70 percent of targets armor I was rocking this thing it is pretty good and it also helps with your damage um, and I believe that is it here in strength now nope not perception I believe yes here in intelligence in intelligence, you're going to want to have makeshift warrior. Um, I already have it maxed out. So makeshift warrior, uh, uh, your melee weapons break 20% slower, and you can craft tier 1 weapons at a max 5 tier, which is what you need. Uh, your weapons will break 80% slower, and you can craft up to 5 tier weapons. So this is really important, and I suggest everyone to always use it. Uh, what is the next one? It is arsonist. Where are you? Or excuse me, weapon arsenal. I was close. So weapon arsenal is a really good perk for you guys to have. It you can repair any weapon up to 130 percent of normal capacity, and at max is 200. So like for instance, if a level 50 knife has like a hundred percent, um, well I don't actually know it. What the thing is this is just an example but if you're like uh, degrade ability is at like a hundred percent and then you throw on like the 200 it's uh, I think it's only up to 200 percent I don't think it brings it up to like three so it just like takes longer for it to break and then plus with the 80 percent uh, slower breakdown from makeshift warrior um, then basically your weapon is at like a 200 percent health or 200% like degrade rate and it's degrading 80% slower every time you use it so those two perks are really good to have when you are doing a melee build okay uh, what's next now uh, I was talking about like sneak attack and using sneak damage so of course you guys can use where are you ninja Ninja, there you are. So this is only if you're doing a sneak build, which means you need to have sneak over there at the end. Uh, ninja is really helpful. So your sneak attack with melee damage brings it up to 2.3, and at max is three times the normal damage. And then if you have like a stealth blade on, it might bring it up to like three times two or however it works I'm not 100% sure and there is very little information on this so all of this information is based off of personal experience and understanding of the game so there's that um, yeah and I think that is about it the only other thing would be I don't believe there's anything in here unless you guys wanted where is it I just saw the armor one. Hello. Oh, here it is. I passed it. So, uh, luck of the draw, I believe is it. Yeah. So, luck of the draw. Um, this is good really for any weapon. It's just to help you like not repair your stuff if you don't want to like repair your things so often. But then your um, weapon arsenal is not affected by this perk. So this is just for like normal weapon damage or weapon degradability I believe but uh, you have a slight chance to repair uh, an item when or should be when you have weapon is hit I'm pretty sure so you have a slight chance to repair uh, itself when hit by an enemy so like your weapon I'm not 100% sure, sure how it works I don't know if you have to get hit or you have to hit the enemy because a couple times I've hit an enemy and then like my weapon was repaired and I didn't get hit and a couple times I've been hit and then the enemy or my weapon was repaired but I don't believe that it repairs your weapon over the normal amount and if you do have like in the 200 range of like your um, 
weapon degrade ability because you used weapon ars uh, arsenal, I don't believe it helps repair it. So this perk is okay if you guys just like really don't want to repair your stuff all the time. And I believe that is about it. Okay, so thanks guys for watching that. I hope that was more information and a bit better than other previous videos. If you did like it, please go ahead and let me down let me know down in the comments below. Remember to subscribe to the channel. It keeps you guys updated with all my follow-up videos or any other videos that I do and it helps the channel out. Uh, the goal is about a thousand subs, so if you guys can get me there, I would be more than grateful. Go ahead and check out my um, my website. Uh, links are down in the description below. The website isn't updated, is currently uh, being updated and you guys can go ahead and go on there and check out all different videos and things about the channel and basically it's going to become one big hub where you guys can find all this information for yourselves and all sorts of other things. Um, what else is there? Uh, if you're interested in TikToks, you guys can go ahead and find my TikToks. There's a link in the description or just go to TikTok and type in Notorious uh, Junkie. You'll find me. And then if you guys are interested in AI generated art, you guys can go ahead and uh, in the description as well, there is an Instagram for all the AI art that I do. And uh, you guys can go ahead and see that. A couple of them are unnamed. So if you want to go ahead and comment on those or you can uh, go on my website and shoot me an email. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about any of that kind of stuff or even about games. So there's that. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys. My name is Notorious, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.